Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top 10 upcoming Unity games in 2021. All of these look awesome, and they're also quite varied, which is a great showcase for just how powerful and versatile Unity can be. I started by looking on the upcoming Steam page and did some research to identify which ones are being made with Unity, so the order is based on number of wishlists. So let's begin starting off with number 10, where we have space-based Startopia. This is a sequel slash remake to Startopia, which is a very beloved game from 20 years ago. It's a simulation management game where you run a space base with tons of inhabitants. You need to keep them happy, make sure your base runs smoothly and make a profit. There's also combat with competitors and space pirates. Features an extensive single player campaign, a configurable sandbox mode, as well as competitive and cooperative multiplayer. I've never actually played the original despite loving the genre and hearing tons of good things about it, so personally I'm looking forward to this one. Next up at number 9 is 12 minutes. This is a very unique game with an interesting premise. You are stuck relieving the same 12 minutes and need to find some way to break the time loop. It's a really interesting premise. It's also got some big names as voice actors, with Willem Dafoe, James McAvoy and Daisy Ridley. The marketing for this game has been excellent, every trailer they release just oozes mystery and suspense. Then at number 8, we've got Ruin King, a League of Legends story. This one is notable due to the fact that a massive studio like Riot chose Unity as opposed to making their own engine. League of Legends is massive, and this is just one of the several games they have announced that exist in that same world. All of the other games they are working on are also being built with Unity. This one is a turn-based RPG. Unite a party of League of Legends champions and set sail to the Shadow Isles to uncover the secrets of the deadly Black Mist. I haven't played League of Legends in quite a while, but I really like tons of champions, so seeing them expand this world into various genres is a great thing. And before we see the rest, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on just about any topic. Explore new skills and improve your current ones at your own pace with unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes for every skill level. Learn skills related to game development, like the basics of computer science, then learn modeling in Blender by making your very first 3D character, and then learn the basics of animation with all the important principles of squash and stretch, timing, and so on. Being a subscription means you don't have to buy each class individually, so for less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, you have full access to all the classes you could possibly want. With so many classes available, you can learn skills related to game development, but also improve on any hobbies you have. For example, learn how to play the guitar, learn electronics with a Arduino and a Raspberry Pi, or learn how to be more productive in life. Join now with the link in the description, and for a limited time, the first 1000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks to Skillshare for supporting the video and supporting the channel. Next up, at number 7, we have the great looking RTS, Starship Troopers Terran Command. This one is based on the movie of the same name, and the movie is awesome and definitely the perfect source material for an RTS, so this seems like a great match. I love games with tons of units and this one definitely has that. The game emphasizes tactics by using true line of sight, enabling you to set up ambushes. You've got lots of units at your disposal. Basic infantry with assault rifles and frag grenades. You've got rocket troopers and defense turrets, as well as some airstrikes and giant mechs. The source material really is perfect for this genre, so I hope that this one turns out very well. And at number 6, we have the tenants. Become a landlord and deal with tenants as you build your rental property empire. Take care of your tenants, design and polish up your apartments, invest in new deals and make a profit. It looks really good with a nice low poly style and tons of props to really design your own apartments just like you want them. The tenants have various needs, happiness and a bunch of sets, so this seems like a mix between The Sims and something like Constructor. It's a really interesting concept and a new nice entry on the management genre, so I really hope it's well executed. Then at number 5 we have Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign. This is a fresh take on the real-time grand strategy genre. Become a king and take control over Europe, choose your court carefully and determine the destiny of your people. Do battle either automatically or by taking direct control, commanding your units in an RTS style battles. So this one is an excellent example of just the scale that you can build while inside Unity. It promises accessible grand strategy with enough depth with religion, diplomacy, city and more, but none of the confusion. Play it in single player or with some online multiplayer. I've never actually managed to get into games like Civilization or Crusader Kings, so this promise of accessible grand strategy does make it very appealing. Next up, at number 4, we have Chris Tales. It's a very colorful, very good looking, class-based JRPG. 
Experience the past, present, and future simultaneously. Watch as your choices dynamically change the future. Seems like a very interesting time-based mechanic. Master strategic turn-based combat and uncover a fascinating story and characters. This is a great example of how you can achieve such gorgeous stylized visuals inside Unity. It also has a demo that you can try out. And then at number 3 we have Carlson. This is the game being made by fellow YouTuber Danny. Honestly, I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far. This is his very first commercial title and it already looks great. It's got a very silly premise, for some reason it's all about milk, there's some interesting mechanics and it's extremely well polished. If I just saw the trailer without knowing anything about it, I would definitely not have guessed that this was someone's first commercial title. There's tons of great movement mechanics that really sell the sense of speed. I would say this might end up very popular in the speedrunning community. In terms of marketing, this is also a great case study. His videos are extremely compelling and entertaining, where obviously he mentions that you can wishlist the game on Steam, and that strategy has certainly worked. It's up here at number 2 with a massive amount of wishlists, it's fighting toe to toe with other games that have teams of hundreds of people. If the final game ends up good, which I believe it will, then this will be a massive success and all of it made by a single person. Definitely very inspiring. And by the way, if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button, it really helps out the channel. At number 2 we have Humankind. It's a historical 4x strategy game where you run through the whole course of human history, start off in prehistoric times, go through the medieval age and end up in the future. Combine up to 60 historical cultures and lead your people, face historical events, take impactful moral decisions and make scientific breakthroughs. Each game element is historically authentic. Customize your leader avatar and involve it over the course of the game as your civilization develops. Show off your custom avatar to your friends in multiplayer matches up to 8 players. Master battles on land, sea and air. Use cavalry, infantry and boats. Construct siege weapons to besiege and occupy cities. If you're into 4x games then this looks like a solid new entry in the genre. And finally at number 1 we have Party Animals. Actually on Steam it doesn't say 21 as the release date, but according to a comment by the developer that is the main goal. This is an interesting case where a game found massive success with a demo, which in turn led them to receive a lot of publisher interest, which gave them the resources to really build out their whole vision. It's a good example of how powerful a great demo and great word of mouth can be. It's a wacky physics game where you fight as fuzzy fluffy creatures, fight as puppies, kittens and other fuzzy creatures, interact with the world with a realistic physics engine. Based on how the demo was so well received, this could be the very next big hit. Alright, so those are the top 10 most wanted games made in Unity and launching in 2021 according to Steam Wishlist. It was great to do some research and find out how many of these games are using Unity. As you can see there's tons of variety in designs and complexity which really showcase the power of the engine. You can make games that are simple and cartoony or complex and realistic. I've gone further down the list and saw a bunch more games using Unity so let me know if you'd like to see another video like this showcasing some more games. I think it's great to highlight what games can be built with the engine, which means that really your only limits to making your ideas a reality is really just your own skills. Don't forget, for a limited time, the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!